Uh, this festival was born out of a conversation I had in the fall with Neil van der Linen, a musicologist and golf art specialist. Um, I was asking Neil about you know, activity here in the region, and Neil uh, seems to know a lot. And he pointed me to very interesting people, including these three gentlemen that, that we have here tonight. Um, I would like to thank the Institute. I would like to thank Niels Lewis and um, Antoine Alcayat um, and their wonderful team. I would like to thank the Arts and Humanities uh, Division from NYU for supporting this activity. And I'm going to explain to you how it's, what is going to happen tonight. Um, basically, Neil will give us an introduction to contextualization of the history of electronic music in the Middle East. And then we'll have three performances. Uh, one performance by Hassan Jairi, next Karim Sultan, and finally Mazen Kerbaj. Uh, before each performance, I'm going to interview the musicians and uh, uh, ask them to explain a little bit of what are they going to do tonight. So with no further ado, I'm going to pass to Neil van der Linden. Neil, thank you very much again for everything. Thank you, Thanks. Carlos. <clears throat> so uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, I, um, in, I indeed, I'm already uh, busy for a while uh, with the music uh, in the wider sense of the of the Middle East and North Africa. And uh, before we have some performances by actual musicians who are here tonight, I would like to uh, put uh, the, the the idea of electronic music in the region in a somewhat wider um, perspective and to uh, demonstrate that it has not come uh, out of the blue, that it is a movement which has been going on for quite a while, and even uh, that the Middle East in some cases was uh, uh, way ahead of, 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 uh, of, of movements. And for that, I'm going to a first example. Um, that is a, by a composer. He was from Egypt. Um, he uh, was uh, born somewhere around 1920, and his name is Halim uh, El Dab. He, uh, long before um, the, um, uh, even, he, he was one of the inventors of the musique concrète. Now I have a computer problem, I must see how to solve it, and that of course happens always at such moments. Um, as a sort of blackout, let me see if I can solve it by ha having some patience. Um, yeah, there we are. Okay, everything comes at the right moment. So Halim El Dab, uh, Egyptian composer, um, and he made a uh, in 1944 he made a experimental piece using the tape techniques of those time, very um, early uh, tape recorders. And he uh, went to do a field recording of czar music, which is uh, ritual music from uh, originally from Africa and introduced in Egypt. And he did a lot of uh, things like distorting that and uh, bringing it to um, um, uh, putting all sorts and kinds of, of uh, tape techniques on that. So this is an, in, in, uh, this is a piece from him from 1944. It's called it's, it's wire on wire tape. all sorts and kinds of reverb and echo and uh, tape loops to give an impression of this czar ritual and the ritual music but uh, it's also distorted it's what um, in Europe um, soon became uh, known as uh, musique concrète interesting thing is that Halim El Darb uh, was uh, earlier in this than the, ma the master in Europe uh, in this field, uh, which, whose name was uh, Pierre Schaeffer. Um, the use of electronic instruments has, has took a big flight in, in, uh, in uh, film, in which Egypt always 
has been very advanced as well. So I would like to you to listen to a uh, piece from uh, the very experimental uh, movie The Mummy by um, Shadi Abdus Salam. It's a film from 1969 in which you again hear a very advanced use of uh, electronics and uh, that, that, that's this. by all means, was a very experimental film, uh, way ahead of its time. The uh, surprising thing was also that it was, meanwhile, a, uh, a commercial success. It, was a, it uh, broke through in the mainstream field. And uh, we see, so we can also see that uh, electronic music, which sounds very experimental, could also, uh, in the Middle East region, uh, reach into the mainstream field. The same is for the following, although uh, the same goes for the following, although in this case um, you will hear that the music is much more accessible. Still it is a, a very advanced use of, of uh, electronic techniques. It's a film from 1972, uh, Chat on the Nile, the theme from Chat on the Nile, a film uh, based on a uh, novel by uh, Najib Mahfouz, Nagib Mahfouz, um, and uh, it's, this is a film about uh, men, who, uh, upper, upper middle class men from Cairo, uh, who uh, each weekend they go uh, on the Nile in a boat and um, get in the, in the influence of drink and, and, and even smoke hashish. And then they speak uh, freely about uh, all things and s sorts and kinds of things of society. And, um, it was, uh, uh, as the novel of uh, Najib Mahfouz was critical, uh, it also the film was critical, but of course the, both the novelist and the film director had an ex as an excuse that these men were under influence, so the, both the novelist and the director were not, inf uh, not responsible for what they said as characters. You could even see, see it as a warning, if you wanted, at, against the, the use of such substances. Anyhow, the music is also very interesting. Um, the, it uses, uh, it's, uh, you can clearly hear, although in way it's, it's, it use, it's also, so somewhat old fashioned, but you can also hear that uh, the music of the time was influenced by uh, the use of electronics, which uh, became uh, familiar through Pink Floyd and Emerson, Lake and Palmer, etc., etc. Let's listen to a small part of it.
algorithms, we hear uh, sort of electronic distortion, we hear electric guitars distorted in the fashion of the avant-garde psychedelic pop of that time, uh, of the international, um, actually in, in touch with the international uh, developments in, in pop music. So this is the composer Ali Ismail, by itself, uh, uh, by himself anyway, quite in, idiosyncratic composer who uh, was always a, a bit in the margins of 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 of, of things, but uh, I find this the music is very interesting, and the film is also uh, very bizarre, strange of uh, visual effects and audio visual effects in combination. So uh, Ali Ismail, the the music for uh, a chat on the Nile. However. Um, some of the main uh, events had already uh, been uh, happening just a few years before. Um, the major um, Egyptian musician of the time was, of course, Um Kulthum, the by all means maybe one of the greatest musicians uh, of the Arab world of all times and maybe of any field of uh, music in the world. Um, well, we know now Um Kulthum as classical, um, yet she was always also an innovator. And uh, even although um, she was already in her 60s, in 64, a shock went through the world when for the first time uh, she introduced an electric guitar in her uh, songs. It's only electric guitar, but you could say, yes, it's, this is also a use of electronic music in mainstream Arabic music. It was a composition by, by Mohammed Abdul Wahab, of course, as we uh, know. Listen to the electric guitar from Enta Umri. orchestra takes over the melody which was introduced by the guitar and although now this is a over familiar song all too familiar and a standard in uh, in uh, in, uh, in Arabic uh, music at that time it was uh, a uh, it created a small stir a big stir it was a sort of revolution but soon uh, all the main stars started to take up the, the, this idea of introducing uh, electronic guitars, electronic instrument, uh, electronic organs, and later even uh, synthesizers. Abdul, Abdul Wahab, in a later uh, piece, he had uh, um, synthesizers. He was one of the first here in the region to experiment with Moogs, a name we will hear later. Um, and just another example, um, a, a very interesting example, is uh, Abdul Halim Hafez, of course, uh, also an, another, another icon of, uh, of uh, music from the region. Um, Abdul Halim Hafez, uh, an Egyptian musician, um, he, he loved also to use uh, electronic instruments, and sometimes to to an, uh, to an effect that it could even sound somewhat hilarious, as we would experience now. But let's listen to uh, an example of uh, of a song. <laughs>
after this, the song Kariat al Fingan uh, develops into an hour long piece, but uh, this is, uh, I thought this was an interesting uh, part to listen to, make, given the use of, uh, of the, uh, the instruments. Um, we make, we're going to make uh, the last part uh, a, a jump into uh, uh, current uh, times. Um, this, we should not overlook the, what's going on in rap and hip-hop. I hope this will not uh, start too loud. Um, the, we, we, most, we, we'll, we'll mostly talk about uh, use of ele electronic, uh, electronic music in, as experimental music, but uh, all the results of, of such experiments also could reach easily into... Um, uh, more um, youth culture like songs. This is a Palestinian rapper, Boykut, also a member of the electronic uh, uh, audiovisual collective Tashwish uh, from Palestine. And this is from his latest album. And the song is called um, Hafel Tanakuri. From his album uh, Haiwan Natek, which appeared uh, last year, uh, Boykut and uh, in a song Hafel Atanakuri. Um, this last one is a song I received even uh, two days ago by Facebook. It's, um, uh, there's a young movement going on in uh, Egypt. Uh, people who are, who originally didn't even, even have access to uh, the fantastic equipment uh, like sample synthesizers. And they just uh, make uh, music uh, on very simple, uh, not even Macs, or but they make it on, on old Windows machines. I saw them producing um, tracks in uh, one of the poorest parts of Cairo, Salam City, um, with uh, three-way uh, mixers and a very old synthesizer. And, they're very virtuoso on this. It's the Magraganat movement. The Magraganat is the Egyptian for uh, festivals or uh, parties. And um, the, the, some of the famous, most famous uh, among them are um, Sadat and Figo and Fifty. But this, uh, I received this two days ago from uh, another uh, guy, Micho. And I thought it was... Uh, uh, very nice to, to conclude it with, fresh from uh, th two days ago. Um, and although the equipment they use is very simple, you will hear that the, use, the effect is effect, uh, in fact, quite, um, um, yeah, um, quite uh, accomplished. So a song by Michaud and um, very... <laughs>
So we jumped from uh, 1944 to 2014. Uh, from 1944, you could say very academic, uh, elu uh, ed ed um, intellectual music by this uh, composer uh, who made all these samples, but from a popular culture, czar, and this music is now uh, the music you'll hear uh, when you go to Cairo on every corner of the street. It's, it blares from the boats on the Nile. It's uh, on all the, all the uh, uh, transistor radios people wear, are wearing in the street. It comes from all the uh, 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 cafes and uh, the Magna Granat from Cairo. So we made a jump in electronic music from Egypt to Egypt with some uh, movements around Palestine and elsewhere in 60 years. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So with no further ado, I want to pass to Hassan Ujairi. Hassan, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having now me. Now these three will, will, will leave. So can you explain to us what we're going to do tonight? Um, I'm going to be playing um, just a, an improvisation based on different equipment I like to use. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be using an electric oud, and because um, I'm trained in classical oud, and, Recently, I've been, become, I've been very interested in the electric oud as an instrument. And then I will be playing a little bit with this red box, which is um, a machine I built, a synthesizer I built uh, when I, um, while in Korea. And finally, the last segment, I'll be using my computer okay. uh, for final sort of sampled sounds. And how does the red box work? Um, it's, it's light sensitive. I, I'll show you when I perform in a second. But, oh, okay. um, <laughs> But yeah, um, I'll, yeah, you'll you'll soon find out. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Last one, Jerry. My name is Kyoko. I will assist with this strange performance by Hassan Fujiri. Hassan, hello. My name is Kyoko. 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 I will assist with this strange performance by Hassan Fujiri. Hassan will improvise a set in three sections. Don't tell me surprised by the big change from one sound to another. This is normal. Hassan has a serious problem. He has only two hands. Hassan can only play one instrument at a time. Hassan should be an octopus. He wants more hands to play music. Hassan has a serious problem. Hassan has a serious problem. Hassan has a serious problem. He has only two hands. Hassan has a serious problem. He has only two hands. 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 He has only First, Hassan will play with some handmade microphones. He also will play with one instrument he built. It is called Oyster Pacemaker.
カンドハサンウィルプレイアレクトリクードハサンラブズトウプレイウードヒズマザオールウェイズはスクスヒムトウプレイポピューラソンズバイヘイルーズアンドアムカルスウムセカンドハサンウィルプレイアレクトリクードハサンラブズトウプレイウードヒズマザオールウェイズはスクスヒムトウプレイポピューラソンズバイフセカンドハサンウィルプレイアレクトリクードハサンラブズトウプレイウードヒズマザオールウェイズはスクスヒムトウプレイポピューラソンズバイフェイルーズアンドアムカルスウムトゥデイヒダズノットウォントプレイポピューラソンズ G ウィルジャストイムプラベイズ Just use his laptop computer. Do not worry. He is not last. Hassan will just use his laptop computer. Do not worry. He is not checking his email right now. Last. Hassan will just use his laptop computer. Do not worry. He is not checking his email right now. He is trying to find sounds that you will enjoy.
ラストハサンウィルジャストユズヒーズラップタップコンピューター Do not worry he is not checking his email right now his is trying to find sounds that you will enjoy ラストハサンウィルジャストユズラップコンピラストハサンウィルジャストラストハサンウィルジャストラストハサンラストハサン
My name is Kyoko. I hope you enjoyed my explanation to this strange music by Hassan Fujeri. My name is Kyoko. I hope 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 Hassan has a serious problem. My name is Kyoko. I hope Hassan has a serious problem. Hello. My name is Kyoko. Hassan has a serious problem. Hassan has a serious problem. My name is Kyoko. I hope you enjoyed my explanation. My name is Kyoko. I hope you enjoyed my explanation. My name is Kyoko. I hope you enjoyed my explanation to this strange music by Hassan Fujeri. Have a good evening. ありがとうございました。バイバイ。So now it's my pleasure to introduce to you uh, Karim Sultan. And Karim is going to perform to us with the oud, the traditional oud, and some electronic music. Karim, could you explain to us a little bit what you're going to do? Sure. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be playing uh, some new and some old compositions uh, on the oud, and a plugged in electric oud. And um, although they're pieces from different periods of time, Um, to me, they, they, they sound a bit, uh, I'm obsessed with this, the idea of the city. And uh, so think of it as, as, a, as the Oud as being a, an individual voice sort of lost in a city. So maybe that, an image to go with the music. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank Karim you. Sultan.
probably better for both of them because at the moment I just don't know where they are. Probably better for both of them because at the moment I just don't know where they are. Probably better for both of them because at the moment I just don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mazen Kerbaj. Mazen Kerbaj is going to perform two small pieces, uh, one for trumpet, for prepared trumpet, and the other one for crackle synths. Uh, actually, we are honored to have a piece of history here. This um, little box, uh, wooden box that you see here on the floor, was developed by Michal Vaivis, uh, the founder and director of STIME uh, Studio for electronic music in Amsterdam that has been an institution in the Netherlands and actually worldwide for the development of electronic music. So, uh, Mazen, do you want to explain to us a little bit what I'm, you're going to do? I'm, I'm moving the chairs <laughs> okay. around me, so... <laughs> I'm moving the chairs as well. Yeah, first piece I play... Uh, I need the microphone, please. First piece I play is an electro-acoustic piece. So, the electro part is just a loop pedal, normal loop pedal. And uh, yeah, just let me plug everything. So normal loop pedal that records things and plays them back. And the acoustic part is, well, I guess you all know what it is. It's a trumpet, for those who don't know. Uh, <laughs> so the first, first piece would be just for trumpet and loop pedal. And the second piece, well, it's the crackle synth that you presented so well. Thank you, okay. by the way, for having us here. Well, thank you very much for being here. Mazen Kerbash. Thank you. <clears throat>
Try this one now. <coughs> Actually, I don't have a mic anymore, but I can speak a little bit of this. Um, this instrument was invented in the 70s, and it's most probably the first ever instrument that is self-sufficient. It has its own batteries, its own speaker, but also it makes, it generates its own sounds. So there is no... Uh, pre-recorded sounds, there is nothing, there is no memories, there is no uh, program behind it. it just, it's just oscillators and electricity that you can touch with your hand, which creates sounds.
thank you very much for coming. Thank you for staying until the end. And I hope you, I, I can see you in the next edition of Noises from the Middle East. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Yeah.